This video shows how to rewrite um, or redirect an URL in a browser with the ASP.NET Core.NET 5 application. So what you see here is that's my uh, previous uh, website and inside there somebody told me that uh, I should uh, do the URLs in that way that is a path and something like this as previous SEO optimizations optimizations a really ridiculous sh shit but now I have that problem and I have to redirect uh, that stuff in my new application so this was a web forms application still running what you see there um, but I want to change to the new uh, new dimensions on .NET 5 with ASP uh, core so what I have to do is I have to bring this to a default path and you see there's a question mark and there's a, a, a number and the number should be changed, uh, not the right way, 26 is uh, wrong. So I'm changing the path to a new path and this is uh, this will be done in the, when you have the ASP uh, application in the startup.cs I will show you how it run, how it's running and how we use that code and we do there in the configure blogger app dot use um, with a, a blog in there and inside there all files will be loo looped and the URL will, will be checked and then uh, finally we do inside there a context response redirect with a new URL and a permanent uh, address so this means the browser will be uh, get a new uh, information and the uh, if it's it's a search, search engine this will get in the browser also the information that it's a permanent redirect on the other hand you may also said <coughs> say okay simply the path is rewriting so you say the path uh, the result is the same but uh, the uh, but in, it will be handled internally. So, and there's a lot of code and so on. And I show you now that stuff in the application. So what we he see here in the background is my application ASP.NET Core. And uh, in there, everything is in this way, like MVC handles. So I have a, a address and then there comes the uh, the controller and the action always the same stuff and I did something with uh, emoticons uh, <clears throat> so when I jump in uh, somewhere in there I see the base the base path which is given by MVC and then uh, and then the ID and the ID is always in a and the backslash and then there come some parameters uh, from the query and this is uh, this is uh, always done in the application. You go to the startup, and now you always have there is a big block which is called here end endpoints. It's quite similar uh, in Angular and React. It's uh, similar the same. So you always jump to a uh, to a, an area. In my case, I took some emoticons emojis. Uh, I said, okay, here, um, these are my uh, my news or my articles and behind the article, there's always a, an ID. That's the default. And I don't want it like this. And so when I run my new application, uh, when I publish it onto my website, all the CO addresses will be lost. So <clears throat> when I go to my code doku, code, Doku de uh, in in Google. Then I see in Google there will be some uh, there will see some addresses which are here like this one. You see there's downloads webcam. There's a path inside this uh, block. So this is the path, and you see this the path itself will be lost. This will not work anymore. So I take this one and I use it in my new site and I will see I want to that it behaves in the same way. But 
uh, the MVC controller, like all controllers, will give me. There is no no area which is called download. So, but I want that it works like this, and that it says, okay, there's a folder like this one. And how would how does it work? We do it in this block. Uh, we go to the we go to here to the app uh, to our configure block, and inside the configure we say app dot use and then async context next. So this inner block means these uh, at the first when, whenever you set a breakpoint in there, uh, the every object the website when it opens it drops in there it comes to, to the breakpoint and then it checks the HTML the document itself and inside the document is the first context is the document itself that's uh, the path which of the document and then there also comes uh, the images which you have so when we have a website and we always have some images so these are the images and uh, below there in the in the corner there you see the URLs so there are URLs of this web of this uh, element and you see there is the image and image goes to a long path uh, which in my case is uh, data and then images and uh, that's the point there so and I want to redirect all those uh, also those images to the new path maybe they work there the same way but I in but the point is that in this block in this uh, loop block in the use block you see there comes the HTML website itself so this is the address there which is in there so we see here the address uh, normally that's what we see here that's the address the HTML document which is loaded and inside the document you have those uh, those images iframes and all this stuff the iframes is from the these ones and these come as context uh, you loop also always in there and then finally there comes a wait next open uh, bracket uh, and then there comes the next document so uh, sometimes you also have to change the, the images not only if you want to change everything or have to change everything then you are also you will first take uh, the document and then there were also the images if for example if you have a new domain and then you say uh, first I check okay in my case I said okay if there is a, a JavaScript file or CSS they may stay where they are uh, I say okay if it if it is like this do nothing so that's nothing do nothing else check else oh, check else if it matches one of uh, the new paths which I said okay my path is always in the new way <laughs> I said okay if it's at home or my library or my documents uh, check in reg expression if, if there is a matching if something like this happens then do nothing because that's the new way uh, so for the f that's for the future and then I say okay for the old stuff check if there is the query string if it is like this one simply a number at the end that's my old way how I did then I say okay check something and finally I say context response dot redirect and then I say give there the new number this is uh, my document and then the ID and please take this to permanent so the browser or search engine knows this is a permanent uh, redirection and will maybe store it uh, on there uh, that's the the other way is to say context dot requ uh, request path simply write the path inside the uh, document but this is not a redirect so this is only maybe that you see it in that point even sometimes you don't see it uh, it simply works and goes on in the following script where there's all that working and going switching to the controller uh, that's simply the, that's the inner path and that's the outer path and one obstacle further obstacle is there so I did a lot of, lot of work on there one obstacle is in that when you used this uh, this wave sign uh, 
for which means that the base URL in ASP, then this will not work on the redirect. So you have to do a lot, you have to check there a little bit more. And finally, that's it. So that's what, uh, in my case, how this works when I run it. Come on. That's what we do there when I open my document, my machine. I don't need a breakpoint. Go on. When we are there, then you see everything works like uh, like before. That's like it's before. And when I change uh, this to my new way, and when I click in there, a new path, and say, okay, here this is my new path, my my new path, new path, and some something else. Uh, then there will come a new path and say, okay, this is a folder, for example. Yeah. So this is the new way and the old way. And you will find the documentation on my website. The link will be below the video. There are some other tricks how to do this uh, work, but I did it this way and it works perfectly. And .NET 5.